State University Athletic Department. We're back in the Waco Center today, down here in the Office of Pioneer Media in today's segment of the Coaches Show. And our guest in this session is head volleyball coach Kevin John. Coach, good to see you this afternoon. As always, great to be here. Tell you what, coming off a big win last night, a much needed win uh, over at Wesleyan last night in the Rockefeller Center. Uh, down, uh, you know, it went back and forth. You know, we, we were down, won a couple sets, and then uh, the fourth one got away, made a nice little comeback, but they held on. But then you were down in the fifth set and had to come back to pull the win. Just some takeaways from that historic night over in Buchanan. So a lot on the line in that match, absolutely, and uh, came out with some nerves, and we because we knew what we were playing for. Um, and after we've had we've had a couple of close matches that got away from us, where we feel like we outplayed the other team in five, and so we're playing for the tournament. Uh, we're playing against a, a game opponent in Wesleyan who was having a great night, I thought, and uh, we're playing evenly back and forth, and and uh, get to that fifth set, like you said, we dropped back behind a little bit at the beginning. And uh, they just sharpened their pencils and went for it, boy. I tell you, especially uh, Zoe and, and uh, Kasha in that fifth set, they just turned it on. They absolutely just turned it on yeah. in that fifth set. Kasha, who was struggling a little bit earlier in the match, um, went back to her form and just said, not today. And then uh, Zoe also took some big, big hacks, yeah. some really big swings in that match, or in that set. Um, got to up. We were down, like you said, I believe, I want to say, 5-2, uh, and then 8-4, and we just kept chipping and chipping and chipping yeah. and until we tied it 11-11, and uh, we went up 14-12, and uh, one of the better moments of the year where we decided to get really aggressive with our serve. And, you know, we, we're, we are aggressive in general. We got very yeah. aggressive in that moment. Uh, went to Kasha and said, hey, Kasha, how about getting slipping in a short serve here? Uh, with, with uh, you know, basically match point, an tournament point, <laughs> and not only she executed, it was one of the most beautiful yeah. serves I've ever seen. It was a wonderful serve in the face and of that really kind of pressure. Off guard. Oh yeah, that, that went to the floor. I don't think they ever had a shot at even touching it. It was, yeah. uh, it was a, it was a great moment for sure. Yeah. Well, I tell you why, and, and again, my my heart was, you know, <laughs> that fifth set. Yeah, I can remember. It, but you were down eleven seven. And it, it, uh, it closed on an eight-one run, you know, really. Yeah, we 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 were like I said, Zoe and Kasha just went off in that. Obviously, we had some other great performances, but offense was a big struggle for us throughout the evening. We weren't exactly clicking on all cylinders, and when those two turned it on in that fifth set, I mean, I mean, Sid came off the bench and had a great night for us. Saved some, uh, did a great job offensively. We had moments where we did okay offensively, and I think, I think. Um, um, Rita had a, a really well balanced night. Like I told her, you were making soup out of buttons tonight. She yeah. wasn't having a whole lot of perfect opportunities, but she was still being productive. So there was a lot of great. There was a lot of great performances. We just weren't putting it all together at once, like we do mm -hmm. sometimes. And and uh, those two turning on at the end, that was just big. And it was, uh, you know, and lost in that was it was the rubber match of, of the two programs. They they had beaten you and. In their tournament, and yep. then you all, you know, beat them here in the Waco Center back in league play, and now with a lot on the line, you were able to pull it out in five sets. I got to admit, I was I was getting a little nervous because we were, we thought the narrative from last year was that we didn't have a chance to get into the tournament at that same point. It was the reverse schedule this year, so we were playing them in the exact same point of the season at their place uh, this year, where we played them at our place uh, last oh. year. And we eliminated them from the tournament last year in that match when we beat yeah. them here. And we're going in there with the exact same scenario. We, we have to beat them to make sure we get to the tournament. Um, it's yeah. the same point of the year. They don't really have a whole lot of shot at getting in because they lost to the to the five seed on the other side. Yeah. So they're playing spoiler overall. And it was a it was definitely a, a grudge match, the rubber match for sure. Yeah. We were uh, it, it was there was a lot of tension in the gym. There was a lot of uh, competition happening. People are going back and forth at each other. Both sides wanted it very badly. Yeah. Well, that, that, and again, Coach Weaver is a good friend of mine, and, and I know uh, you know it's a, it's a good competition, good competitive night there. Uh, you, uh, you know, now before the tournament, we have uh, you know Concord and Senior Night. Uh, it's I, I always think it's really neat to, to close your regular season on your home court. Uh, tell me some things you know looking forward to in, in the Concord matchup. Well, 
we're looking forward to prep for the tournament in the sense of um, now that some of the pressure is off, that we're there and all of that, that we'll that we'll play loose, that we'll play strong, that we'll that our offense will be going uh, on full board, all cylinders, and that's what we're looking for. Uh, Concord just came off a really big win, um, two win two matches ago against DNE, so we're expecting them to come in and, and go at us. And it's their last match of the year; uh, they don't have anything after this, and they're going to lay it all on the line. So we're going to have to really be disciplined about what we're doing. We're going to have to look through the net and identify the game plan and identify hitters. Um, we're absolutely going to want to try to go fast against them. We're going to try to go quickly through um, a well-balanced attack, but definitely we want both of our middles being successful and then opening up the attack from inside out. That's what we're going to be looking for. We'll serve aggressively as we always do and uh, looking to see if Hopefully that we get the crowd engaged and, and all the families yeah. engaged and, and excited to, to say goodbye to some great people. Um, not excited, but sad, obviously, but excited that they get an opportunity to, to have this, this great moment, this last moment in, our, in the Waco Center, in our gym. And hopefully it's the send-off they're all, they're all hoping for, and we're really looking forward to, to seeing that play out also. Yeah, and coming in, uh, you know, a week before, uh, you know, the tournament, and volleyball is one of the longer seasons in the league, you know, how it extends, and, and, uh, and it's, it, all across the country it is. But it's a grind, and this year there's been a lot of upsets the second half of the league schedule. Uh, more last week we talked about, you know, d &E going down and, uh, you know, State and Wheeling losing the same night there three weeks back. Just about the parity of just this league and the improvement of volleyball, what does – how you're seeing it. Absolutely. I think the entire league has come up. Wesleyan, even though we got them this year twice in conference, I felt like Wesleyan was a better team this year. Yeah. We just happened to also grow. And so we got them in a couple of tough, tight matches. So I think that shows growth from the south side. Um, I felt like uh, Notre Dame has really come up. I thought I really thought that everybody, like Sands maybe one or two examples, I thought the entire conference had come up. And uh, like you just said, that the parity in the, in the results is showing that. There's no undefeated teams. Uh, people are beating each other in circles. And I also think that means that everybody's beatable. So that's exciting. Yeah. And I don't think everyone's beatable because they're not as good as they were in the past. I just think everyone else is kind of closed yeah. ground. Yeah, closed that gap. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so a couple things. Obviously, that means we're going to go in and, and take our puncher's chance in, in the tournament. That's what we're going to do and see how it all plays out. We're certainly going to leave it all there. But also, hopefully, the region is going to start paying attention to that, what's happening in this conference. And, uh, you know, our goal is to, to help be part of us getting more at-large bids and Absolutely. things of that nature. That's, that's a big deal. And I think that this conference, this conference could do that. Yeah. We could be seeing ourselves um, pulling some of the, 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 what has traditionally gone to the PSAC schools as at-large bids. Yeah. I think that could start to happen. We had a very successful year against the PSAC in our yeah. conference. So I, I think that that's... Uh, Hopefully that's where we're headed, and I think that it's, this year is not going to be uh, it's not going to be a one year deal. I think everybody is growing and getting better. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been an exciting year. A lot of talented young players, and I can't wait for Friday night. I think it's going to be a nice atmosphere in here, and uh, you know to put the, the ribbon on the regular season, and, and uh, you know to uh, our next conversation will be about postseason play. Absolutely excited to talk about it. Well, I tell you what, Coach, thanks for joining us here today and taking your time to come here. And, and thank all of you out there for taking the time to join us on the Coaches Show. We'll talk to you next week.